Now we come in chapter 29 to Egypt, the last nation here in 29, 30, 31, and 32. is all about Egypt. Now, there are many commentators that take the position, and these are conservative men, that the prophecies here concerning Egypt are of more interest than the one concerning Tyre. Now, I must confess, I do not concur in that. I think that prophecy concerning Tyre is remarkable. But we are going to find here a very remarkable prophecy. And one of these prophecies is that Egypt was to be destroyed. Now, Egypt was a great nation and had not been destroyed. It had maintained its integrity down through the centuries. One of the most ancient nations actually did not need to put up a wall of defense. After all, that desert was a pretty good defense. And there was only one entrance in there, and that was through the Nile River Valley. And frankly, all they had to do was to put up a good defense there. And you'll find the cities of Egypt were not walled cities. It wasn't necessary to wall them at all. Now, God says, though, they're going into captivity for 40 years. Now, will you notice here, and this is a remarkable prophecy, and I do not want to be tedious with it, but I would like to call attention to just a few things. We have here in the 10th year, in the 10th month, in the 12th day of the month, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and prophesy against him and against all Egypt. Now, God here takes a very definite position against this land of Egypt that had put his people in the brickyards, had introduced them to idolatry, and had been a thorn in their flesh for years. And Israel was constantly running to Egypt for help. They seemed to lean upon it. Now, God says, I'm against Egypt, and Egypt is to be destroyed. Verse 3, Speak and say, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I'm against thee, Pharaoh, king of Egypt, the great monster that lieth in the midst of his rivers, which hath said, My river is mine own, and I've made it for myself. Now, the crocodile, apparently, is the sea monster here, and Pharaoh's likened unto a sea monster. And like the crocodile says, This is my river. And the very interesting thing is that Egypt worshipped all manner of birds and beasts and bugs, the scarab, you know. And if you'll notice, the plagues of Egypt were leveled against actually the gods of Egypt that they worshipped. I think that in spite of the terribleness of the plagues, that they also revealed God had a sense of humor. Imagine, friends, worshipping Hika, the frog-headed god, and then waking up one morning and frogs are all in your bedroom. What are you going to do? Start killing off the gods? I think the Lord must have got a, you know, smiled at that anyway. Now, will you notice the Pharaoh that's mentioned here is Pharaoh Hophra, and he's called in Greek Apres. He was the grandson of Pharaoh Necho, who had defeated King Josiah at Megiddo. In fact, Josiah was slain there. And King Zedekiah, and also we find the other rulers even before him, Jehoiakim, Jehoiachin, they turned to Pharaoh Hophra when Jerusalem was besieged. And this Egyptian army came up and came through Phoenicia and forced the Chaldeans to raise the siege of Jerusalem. You remember we looked at that in Jeremiah. Now, the prophet Jeremiah, he announced the doom of Hophra also. And we had it in Jeremiah, Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will give Pharaoh Hophra, king of Egypt, into the hands of his enemies, to the hand of them that seek his life, as I gave Zedekiah, king of Judah, to the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, his enemy, and that sought his life. The critic here has found fault, and I'm not going into detail here, but I would like to recommend to many folk who listen to this that are Bible students and they like to go into 
something. The critic has come along here and made the statement that this prophecy was not fulfilled at that time. It was fulfilled 17 years later. But the interesting thing is, if you read it carefully, God made it very clear it wasn't going to be fulfilled then, but the prophecy was given then that later it would be destroyed. That is, Egypt was.